My parents came from Barbados and came to London in 1956. We lived for a period of time in um, Ladbroke Grove. We then moved to a very small flat in Brixton. There was four children to one bedroom. Yeah, there's a very strong community where we lived. I mean, uh, basically everybody knew everybody. It was almost like Caribbean carried their community spirit here. I think there's been a kind of change in the dynamics and the diversity of Brixton. The area generally, they just feel like there's a gentrification. This isn't just something which is in the news. This is real. I'm living it. Brixton, when I was young, growing up, was predominantly black. There was black shops, black people in the housing, there was black products. Now there is a handful of shops, there's all these, what can only be described as yar restaurants. The reason I say that is, I'm, I'm sure I'm not unique in not wanting to eat off a piece of a chopping board. You know, I quite like eating off plates. And a lot of these fancy restaurants, you know, they serve a full meal on the chopping board. And, you know, we often have a little, little giggle about it. We've moved from a food and clothing market to a restaurant bonanza of every kind you could possibly think of. It's not the Brixton that I grew up with. We lived in an estate called Cowley Estate. There was quite a lot of traditional people, both English and Caribbean and African, on the estate. I think it was very important when my parents first came here to sort of like send pictures back home. And so you'll find that there are pictures of my mother in a nurse's uniform and my dad when he was first working and in their church finery, because back home you wanted to show that yes, you found a, a decent church and that you were employed and prosperous. And, you know, we then uh, were affected by that and um, influenced by that and we kind of wanted to show and demonstrate that we um, had the strong work ethic as well. I think as a parent, it's, it's very important the influence that you have over your children, that you're a positive influence. When I think of the difference that having a father like mine did for me, then I'm hoping that that's what I, that's a legacy that I will leave behind for my children. Click the videos to watch more Londoners and don't forget to subscribe.